the holidays. It's a time known for bringing families together, decorating, gatherings, gift giving, but for some, it's a time that can tear families apart. A trap that's uh, difficult to get out of. 23 million people struggle with an addiction in the U.S. every day. Filled a hole and a void in my being that, you know, I was like, this is it. Addiction, whether it's to illegal drugs, alcohol, or prescription pills, is a disease that kills three to four people per day in Tennessee. These two men got help before becoming part of that statistic. Paul was addicted to methamphetamine and Ross, a former alcoholic. Both say the stress that comes with the holiday season can fuel an addiction even after becoming sober. Even if the, the places that you're going are completely supportive of what you're doing, it can become a, just a stressful thing. Ross helps ease that stress by giving himself control. If he's at a gathering with his wife and starts to feel a trigger coming on, he knows it's time to go. It's called having an out and is something that former addicts are taught to maintain sobriety. As I had to realize that all of those people, they aren't alcoholics. So they don't understand what the feeling is. You know, so that's why I, I've also had to surround myself with other people that are in recovery. Paul knows sometimes situations can alter his perception, a common feeling among former addicts. If I start feeling left out of certain groups or certain festivities, things like that, uh, that can, uh, it can influence the way I perceive my sobriety. Paul and Ross now use their stories to help others understand how addiction can cloud the brain. Two examples of what it's like to regain sobriety and move into recovery. That can be a uh, shaky stage for a while. And uh, the, the ones early on, I think it's important to know, you know, you're not the only one that feels this way. There's help out here that's available.